Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Just put those photos in. My intro from Dylan Dixon, a photographer, a local um, photographer here on the Sunshine Coast that takes beautiful photography of our gorgeous, gorgeous area. So I'm going to post a bit of his photography and my intros and hope you enjoy it. So today I am doing a large canvas so that's an 81.2 by 40.6 canvas and I'm so I'm trying I think it is my biggest bubble wrap dip on that large canvas. Um, first of all I'll tape the bottom of my canvas so I don't get the um, paint on the bottom. It keeps my bottom clean and I've put my giant push pins in there ready um, to be able to grip the canvas back off my dip. So what I'm doing at the minute is just sizing up my canvas and I'm going to mark with a texter uh, where the corners are just so I don't put paint um, when I'm layering my paint where it's not required outside of that. So that's all I do with the texture is just giving me a guide to where to put my paint. So it's a nice easy procedure. And the next thing I will start doing is loading my paint onto that area and it's the bubble wrap dip. These are a few of the bubble wrap dips I've done in the past. Really nice bright colors, um, really quite glossy. And they're just some of my favorite favorites uh, to do because they leave such gorgeous results and the different kind of bubble wrap chubby bubble wrap or thin bubble wrap they all give different results and um, they kind of do definitely give a textured effect and almost give a ripple effect uh, as looking on water sometime so what I'm doing first is I'm just going to give a light coat of uh, my white just acrylic paint mixed with my normal pouring medium I'm giving my canvas a coat of that before the next stage now for layering my different colors and I'll just um, jump in and let you know what colors they are on the on the way so this is a, um, a cyan blue and I did actually add a little bit of phalo blue to make it go a little bit darker um, but I probably should have left it as it was uh, never mind so I'm doing these V chev chevrons through it they always give the best effect I find when I do my particular dips doing these chevrons This colour is my turquoise, again doing the chevrons through it in no particular order. I do want to leave some area around the outside, so like negative space, so I don't put colour right up to the very edges of this canvas. now for my really nice lovely vibrant red um, I think this one was um, cool red so it's yeah very lovely and vibrant that will add some zing to the thing so this is the phalo blue or cool blue so um, it's always good to put a bit of dark contrasting colour in there. It makes the other colours pop. And again, you can do the chevrons. You can do that wiggles everywhere. It's up to you, but certainly put a few so she 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 chevrons in. It gives a really nice effect.
No, just some white. It's just the same uh, mixed with the same pouring medium. I just mix it in this large container because I use a lot of white, navy black and berrylicious. So I try and keep containers of them mixed up. So certainly looking a crazy wild um, party of colours there. And now for my lovely, lovely bright yellow. I think it's called cool yellow. Um, but it's just a really nice, bright, vibrant yellow. So hopefully it'll help make those colours pop. And the colour I'm using now is my Berry Delicious. This is a custom colour that I make up. It's really like a black cherry, a real... Um, I make it up out of a, a nice dark red. If you've got, then add uh, just a blob of phthalo blue. And if you want it to go even darker, a little blob of black. So it's a really nice dark black cherry look. Berry Delicious. Rightio, here we go, lifting this largest canvas up and just to see it's give me my guides of where to place it back again, hopefully get the colours in the area that I want them in and then it's just a case of pressing your camera, uh, your camera, your canvas down everywhere, um, yeah, with your hands, like just making sure that the paint and the canvas you know come into contact with each other uh, well and good uh, don't do too much squeezing like pushing it right along um, I suppose it might push too much of your canvas out over the edges just gonna grab that spatula at the moment because I felt that underneath there might not have been getting the paint um, I'm not sure if this is a good thing that I've used this or not but we will see, so wait for it. Ooh, wee, wow, wee. Well, that's the bubble wrap you've seen, and now there's the piece. Now, this one was pretty weird. I was very happy with the left hand side, but as you see, the right hand side had a little bit of, you know, it was hazy. But the funny thing is, my husband picked up that he said that looks more like ripples on a pond in that area um, but I would have definitely liked it to have been as bright and as uplifting as the left hand side so I might have a think about I don't know maybe putting a stencil or painting something over that bit but I'm gonna see how it dries well I actually know how it dries because it's dried beautiful now because I'm doing the voiceover about five days after the actual painting um, and it has dried lovely, but that just that one area has dried looking a bit faded like you see it. So I'll work it out what to do with it. So there you go, my lovelies. Uh, another piece on a big canvas. Just a bit disappointed with that, that little bit, but, you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to try and... Um, do what I can with that so hence some lovely balloon kisses in there and it is bringing up a bit of the lighter colour underneath so I'm just going to give it um, you know just a few balloon kisses here and there and it added the eye highlights to it I believe so it kind of looks like a big bowl of uh, flowers in there but I absolutely love it I enjoy the process very much and to me that's means more than anything so enjoy the journey and not the destination or you can enjoy the destination of course but it's all about enjoying the journey to get there so i'll balloon kiss away and um, see how we go So 
thank you so much for joining me today i hope you like this piece um it it turned out beautifully really i'm very happy with it and it's dried beautiful so i hope you enjoyed it and you give this a go it's always fun and i'll look forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow so my lovelies take care and bye for now